What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art tutorial, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you boy drop some heat. In today's video, I will be giving you guys a full tutorial on how to draw with your mouse and how to do shading and how to find the proper shades for the picture you're drawing. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Okay, first thing you wanna do is after you find your picture, you wanna make sure you stretch it a good size. Big, you wanna make it as big as possible so you'll be able to do the fine details. You wanna select that picture, come to opacity, drop your opacity down on your picture. Okay. Then you wanna lock that layer. Then you wanna create you another layer Drag that same picture from wherever you got it from. Okay. This is for the people who really can't determine where to put the, the shading and the shadows. So if you want a, a little reference, what you would like to do is while you got this picture selected, come up to image trace and cl click 16 colors. And it'll kind of give you like a gradient look in a vector file. So you'll know where to put your shadows at. It won't be perfect, but it, it'll kind of give you an uh, example of where to put your highlights from your, your mid shadows and your dark tones. So you can just keep that on the side just to give you a little, a little reference you can kind of follow. So let's create us a new layer for our line work. You want to come up here to your oval tool, the ellipse tool. And now we're going to create our brush for our mouse. So what you want to do, selection tool, and you want to bring this down. So we have a, a thick center and some sharp points at, at each corner. So stretch it out some. Okay, let's make this smaller. Okay, while it's still selected, you wanna come up here to your, your brushes. Come over here to basic, new brush. You wanna go to art brush, click okay. Then you wanna click okay again. And now you can come up here to your brush and it'll have a brush we just created. So after you do that, delete all the lines we made. Come up to open your brush by double clicking onto it and move your smooth your smoothness all the way up and hit OK. <clears throat> now when you create your line work, you want to zoom as close as you can into the picture where your picture will look very pixelated. And you want to go as slow as you can with your mouse. Until you get comfortable with having control. And another thing you should do too is overshoot your lines. Okay. I'm just saying, trying my best to stay inside the pixels. Okay, 
that's pretty good. Now what you want to do? The reason we overshot our lines, I'm gonna show you why. All you gotta do is select everything. Then you can come to object, expand appearance, and then you can click divide on your pathfinder. After you click that, you can come over here to your your white selection tool and you can delete every line that you don't want that you overshot. Clean, gotta clean now. So we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Come back to our brush tool. And we gonna, we're gonna draw our lines. And the more you do it, the better you'll get with drawing your drawing with your mouse. Okay. And you know what? I like the way I did this eye. So you know what, I'm come right to this tool right here. White selection tool. I'm gonna delete this eye. And I'm gonna drag this over. By selecting it and holding Alt on my keyboard. Dragging that over so we can have it matching the other side and what we're gonna do we're gonna select both we're gonna highlight both we're gonna go to expand appearance and we're gonna click divide and we're gonna white selection tool and we're gonna delete the lines we overshot so far I'm gonna finish out <clears throat> we're gonna finish out the line work They're overshooting our lines, and we just gonna do the same process through the whole picture. Expand the pants, divide on your pathfinder. We're gonna delete the lines we overshot.
we can bring smooth this down a little bit so we can have a little more control of our lines Object, expand appearance, divide on your pathfinder, come back up, see your white selection, delete the lines we overshot, and sometimes you gotta hit delete twice. And now we got some pretty clean, we have some pretty clean line work. our brush a little bigger to do the shape of the head so let's go to four bring our smoothness back up probably go down some let's see four let's try see how three look three a little too big let's try two
say just gonna go through go to object expand appearance divide clean up all the lines we overshot you want to do you want to come to your your pencil tool make sure your pencil tool have like where your pencil tool okay pencil tool make sure your pencil tool have these settings you can move your smoothness up so you can have some control over it hit okay move this color black at the top make sure this bottom color stay locked now we're gonna go inside and we're gonna try to add the details to the eyebrows and the hair. We'll do the same thing on this side. some details all you gotta do is come in and do my jitters make sure you're closing it all Okay, now that we finished with the line work, first thing you want to do is you want to select everything. You want to come up here to object, expand, and then you, you want to click merge on your pathfinder to make everything we did, everything we created, you want to make all that one. So. We merged all our lines together. You want to drag your artwork of your line work to this new sheet of paper right here to make a copy. Lock the top copy. And now we can pull out our reference picture. But make sure you got that locked so it don't get in your way. And you can delete the layer 
that we use to make the line work. You can delete the picture. And now, this will let you know where all your shades at. And I'm, I'm gonna just keep saying this and so you can get a good idea. So we know to put our mid-tones right here. Our darker tones are coming from this side of the face. And all we're gonna do is when we remake it, we just gonna clean it up, you know what I'm saying? But it'll let us know where the direction we should be going while we're creating this picture. So let's go to our second layer with our line work on it. And we're gonna start out with a good base color. Start out with a good base tone. I don't think that's pretty good. Go to our rectangle tool. We're gonna drag that color over the picture. Right, hold up. Let me double click this so we can get the colors right. Drag that color over our picture. And we're going to right click the color, go to arrange and send to back. You'll know if you did that step right, if you look over here at your, your color layer and you'll kind of see your line work on top of it. Now you wanna highlight everything once again. Then you wanna click merge on your pathfinder. Then you want to right click onto the color, go to isolate select group, and now we get to delete that outer color we don't want. We can come in here and change colors. Hold shift, select more than one thing, make that white. We got a good little base color to start out with. Time to do the shading, okay? What I like to start with, I like to start with the dark shades first, the dark shadows. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna focus on this color right here, this shadow. And we're gonna place our shadow everywhere we see where these dark tones at. So it's over here on this side of the face, on this side of the nose, it's under the lip, and kinda under the chin. So that's what we gonna focus on. So now when I come to my picture, I sample this color of the skin tone. After I sample it, I find a color that's a good blend. between the two. I think that's pretty good for now. We can always change it around later. Come to our pencil tool. Make sure y'all settings look like mine. Probably move our smoothness up. Make sure your color is on the top and the bottom layer is locked. And now, that's kind of, okay, dark shadow on this side. That's what we're gonna do.
right, we copied that shadow. See, this dark shadow is right where this dark shadow is at on our picture. So now let's see what the next one we're going to go for. Okay, we're going to go for this top part. And it's good if you split it up so you make it simple for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to do it all at one time. Just do it like a piece at a time. So we're going to focus on this part right here. And this top part. We're just going to focus right here. So I see how it curves. And then it come over. And I'm also looking at the original picture on my other monitor. So let's see. Bring that curve. And we're going to close it off right here. And then we're going to bring this up. Okay, fill that in. We're gonna do this bottom part. If you pay attention to the the picture and use it as a reference, it'll make it real easy for you to make some nice shadows. And we just doing good so far. We just going through, we copying where the shadow is supposed to be, but we just, you notice we making our version a little more cleaner. So it's a dark shadow right here. it together it's gonna chip away at it Shadow come up fall over. And I notice this ear. Okay. We 
just using that other picture for reference. Okay, now what I like to do, I like to add a, a shadow inside the eyes. So we're gonna sample the eye. I'm gonna bring this down. I'm gonna add a nice little shadow. Same thing on this side. Okay. Um, let's see. We got a dark shadow inside the corners of the lips so what we can do we can just sample this shadow right here and bring it inside the corners so if you use your reference like exactly how it is on your picture your shadows will start to improve your shading will improve and then after a while you won't need it because you'll kind of already know how to spot it with your eye okay that's our first dark shadow now we're finna go for our mid the in between so let's pick up create a new layer under that dark shadow layer we're gonna sample the skin tone and we're gonna find a nice color that you can see it in between those two There's a shadow coming in between the eyebrows. Down this way and back up. And we're gonna tweak the colors last so we can make everything all the colors match a little better okay there's a dark shadow coming on this side
minus one. this area zoom in closer so we can get around this lip Under the chin, and now we got to do this shadow right here. This one by this by this nose. And I'm just trying to simplify the picture. Instead of using all these all these different shades, I only want to use I want to use three personally. I want to use the dark shade and then I want to use the mid-tone. And then I want to use my highlight. I want to use dark shade, mid-tone, highlight. Now, if I was trying to put more detail in it, I add more levels of shades in it, more levels of shadows in it. But in this picture, I only want to do three. My dark, my mid, my highlights. So I'm trying to simplify it, but I'm also still following this picture. I'm using this kind of as a grid. So...
we're gonna bring that bring that on up. Okay, now that we did our mid tone. Wait, hold up. Before we go, before we move on, I want to add a a mid tone shade to our bottom lip. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we finna do our highlights. So create you a layer right under your mid tone. And we gonna see where all the highlights are. And it's right here. So all we gotta do is copy that and we'll come out with a nice, a nice picture. So sample the skin tone. Let's find us a nice little highlight. That's pretty good. Our pencil tool. Just gonna
sample the loops. So we're gonna add a, add a highlight on it. So what I wanna do, I'm gonna unlock all my layers with color on it. I'm gonna select it all. Then I'm gonna come to edit, edit color, adjust color. Now I'm gonna go to uh, color harmony. And then I'm gonna come right here to auto and go to all. And now we're gonna tweak some of our colors. So I'm gonna come right here, make that blend a little more with the skin. I'm gonna make this blend a little more. I'm gonna make that, make that lip blend a little more. And that look pretty good to me. So I'm gonna click OK. Lock all my layers again. Then we're gonna create one more layer right above our line work. So we can add the little details in the eyes. So what you wanna do? I'm gonna get the color white. Go to your pencil tool. Color white, get your pencil tool. And you just wanna add a little detail on top of the eyes. Now we're gonna get another color. Make it a darker tone. And it got a little glare right here under and there you have it you guys how to shade and draw using your mouse make sure you hit that like button and comment subscribe more heat coming soon and I'm out this thing